Hello, my YouTube family. Yeah. After greeting me with major, major meows from this from last night, he decided to look out the window. Say hi. Oh, you don't care. Oh. Well, he done found himself a little niche now. Right behind my pillows. Little bastard. Okay. Well, yeah. Uh-huh. You ready to say hello? A little shy, huh? Okay. Well, um, <clears throat> let me just, you know, so you guys can see him. Hello, my YouTube family. <laughs> yeah, that's... There he goes looking at stuff that he can only see and I can't. Okay, so let's just get started. Um, today is uh, lips of the day, even though I'm wearing a new eyeliner, um, but I'll post that in the comments below, in the description box below. So here we are. I'm wearing gray, and what goes with gray? Purple. Don't get mad at me. You can't find this one. But I believe it is a dupe for heroin. It might be a slight bit darker. But, um, this lip gloss is so old, but it's still good. It's so old that it came out before the internet. No lie. No, that's, that's not right. No, it didn't. No, it didn't really. I'm lying. Um, but the internet was a baby when it, when this lip gloss came out, it was a baby so much so that if you type this in Google, you won't be able to find it, but the cover, the color heroin comes up. So I'm assuming that that's a dupe for heroin because I did try to look for myself people. Um, so let's just get started. Shall we? Uh, the liner, of course you can find, this is my NYX in deep purple. There we have it. Deep purple lined. And here's the lip gloss. It is a MAC lip gloss stain, and the color is called Vivid Tone Violet. The ish. The ish. I was all day long. All day long. Yes, I will do a little swatch for you. And you know, um, MAC lip glasses are very tacky and very sticky but that's a good thing what is he doing what are you doing please don't bring my shades down please do not bring the shade down oh come charging at me you want to say hello oh well see there you go he said hello he said hello this is my lip gloss you want to see my lip gloss no, you can't lick this. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. You done? I guess that is his test of approval. I think he likes the lip glass. I think that's a yes. Okay. Can I get back to my YouTube family? Our YouTube family? They love you too, you know. They probably love you more than me. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so here's the swatch. This is it. This is what it looks like. And it might be a shade darker than heroin, but um, the ish, that's all I have to say. I chose what I was going to wear last night, and I was like, purple goes with gray just fine. And this had been sticking out for the longest time. So I'm like, okay, you're on. So this that is lips of the day, people. Love. Been loving this look all damn day. All damn day. So... I went to work feeling just as fine as fine can be. Because you know when you get in the car and you're listening to the radio and then a song of yours comes on and you're just like, hey, oh, honey. Yes. You know that song um, with Ashanti? I don't know who is the, the, the rapper. But you know, what's love divided? You know that song? Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, got to do with it, got to do with it, what's love, got to do with it, yeah, it's about us, it's about trust, yeah, 
that song came on and I was, oh, I was driving. And most of the time I was driving with my hands up off the wheel. Hey, yeah, I was um, enjoying my drive into work today. Uh, but when I got to work, when I got to work, um, you know, I don't turn on anything until nine o'clock because they want you to start at nine. So uh, nine o'clock it is. So um, at about 9.04, of course, the phones immediately start ringing. So there was a call for somebody in the finance department. So I transferred it in and I heard do, 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 do. And usually when you hear that sound on an extension, that means the person got fired or left the company or whatever. So I thought I'm I'm misdialed because I spoke to this person just yesterday afternoon. So I redialed it again. Do, 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 do. I said, oh, shoot. Please do not tell me. So I had to tell the person, I'm going to transfer you to someone else who can probably help you. Transferred that person. Then I called the HR department because... I just needed to I just needed to know maybe they changed her extension and I I wasn't aware. So I asked somebody at HR, um does so and so still work here cuz I just tried to transfer a call to her. Uh no, she no longer works here as of yesterday. I was like, I just spoke to her just yesterday and then the person didn't say anything on the other end meaning, you know, don't go into it, Nancy. And I was like, "Oh, okay. No, I'm not asking any questions. Thank you very much." And I hung up. She came to me because she was having a bit of a day, you know, a bit of a day. And she came in the reception area. And I usually tell everybody, you know, I'm the bartender. I'm your psychiatrist. I'm your priest. If you want to talk, let, because I'm the only one. I work in my own, on my own, by myself. I am an island onto myself, which I absolutely love more and more now. So she came out and she was having a day. And we were talking, and I was trying to make her laugh, and I was telling her to breathe and all of this. And we were talking about this, that, and the other and everything, and, you know. And she was sitting out there for maybe a good 30 minutes. And then finally, when she was ready to go, she said, okay, I'll talk to you. And I said, well, thank you for stopping by. I'll talk to you tomorrow. And she goes, okay. That was the last I saw of her. The last. I, I have a feeling the second she went back there, she went back to work, they called her in the office to, 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 to fire her. Word is through the grapevine that she had been messing up a lot and a lot of people were trying to cover for her, but you can only cover for somebody for so long. So, um, I guess they had no other choice but to let her go. That was one person. The other person, there are two people. The other person, I spoke to them just last week, like last Friday, last Thursday or last Friday. And then I come to find out today that this person no longer works here also. And she had been with the company for like over 10 years. So I'm noticing a lot of changes in the three years that I have been with this company. I am noticing some changes, not attractive ones either. But, you know, I'm just going to keep my mouth shut, do my job, collect my check, and please just let me go. Come to work, do your hours, eat your half hour lunch. Go. That is it. Do my job. Do it to the best of my ability. Because now it's getting scary. Now, now it's getting like really scary. And people are just being let go left and right now. Now the And these are smart, intelligent people. Okay, with the exception of the one from today. From well, who got let, got fired yesterday. I'm not saying that she was a dumb person. I'm not saying that at all. But she had been known to make a lot of mistakes. And she worked in the finance department. So you know, finance people, money. I work at a law firm. Money. You don't joke. You don't play. You don't miss. You know, you don't make a mistake putting a zero in the wrong place. No, no, no. No, no. Finance department is like being a doctor who's operating on you while you have a heart attack. You better not F up because, you know, she probably F'd up one too many times and then gone.
and the other one who'd been with the company for like over 10 years, I don't know what department she was working in, but um, like she'd been there for like 10, 15 years. So what? She just made one mistake and oof, out the door you go. I don't know, but she was a little, she was like a manager, not a manager, manager, but she oversaw a group of people and I don't know what happened. This year, the big man is cleaning house. There is clean, there is a sweep going on and I don't need to be caught in that broom, okay? I don't need to be caught in that broom and swept out the door. No, no. No, no. So, it was kind of a scary day today. Very, very scary. I wrote down everything that I'm talking to you about, okay? Um, and the third thing that I need to talk to you about, this is for one person in particular, Mrs. The Doll. I am loving myself some Mrs. The Doll today because Mrs. The Doll and I, her name is Deb, by the way. Deb had been keeping me company, like, writing on my, leaving comments on, on yesterday's video and I was answering her back as much as I could. And, uh, she, she threw out, I mean, she just, you threw out an idea to me, Deb. Okay. Um, that I am still confused about and I don't know what to do. So I'm going to need the help of all of my YT family because, um, she dropped a bomb on me and now I'm totally confused. Remember I've been saying I am going to not go on a no-buy until July. I'm on my no-buy until July. She threw out the idea. She said she'd done that before. She did a no-buy for a, a good amount of time. And then when she finally, when it was time to buy, she just went eight crazy and spent even more on the credit card than she really thought she was going to spend. And she just... Just blew that credit card out the water. So I'm thinking, and she said, instead of doing, she said she would never do that again. And instead of doing that, when she feels the need to, to buy something, she just goes out and buy it. You know, if it's a little haul, like, you know, a couple of mascaras, some lip gloss, some blush, she'll just buy it in a haul and call it a day. And if something new comes out that she wants, she would buy that and call it, instead of waiting on a lump sum. Because when you buy it the way she's doing it now, you know, you still have time to pay your credit card and do this and that. And you're keeping up with your payment. Plus, probably most of the time she's paying in cash. So you're not touching your credit card at all. Whereas with me, my idea is to just save up on my credit card so I could blow it in July. But like she said, I may go overboard. And the balance that I have now may triple by the time I just go crazy. So here is the question that she didn't really pose a question. She made a suggestion. And I am completely confused. Because three months of not buying stuff, I've been pretty good. Plus, I've been missing out on all the limited editions that have come out since January. So it's like, okay, well, you know, I don't really care. Because in July, I'm just going to... But now I don't know if I should just skip the whole no buy until July. And then just like after work or during the weekend go to the drugstores, Walgreens, and, you know, do a little weekend situation and go around the stores and buy what I want to buy with cash and maybe charge an occasional lipstick, you know, a little mini haul. Should I do it that way and just skip the no buy and start buying again or what? I am confused because I was like really being strict about no buy until July and July is only four months away. I know it sounds like a lot, but it, you know, it really isn't because the days are just, you know, zipping by. Some, some, are, some days are zipping by faster than others. But we're already in March, people. Wasn't, weren't we just going, woohoo, happy new year, and it's already 2014, and now we're already a third of the, of the year, almost over. So I, I'm totally confused. I am totally confused. I really don't know what to do. So I want suggestions, people. How many of you want me to stick it out until July? How many of you want to just say, screw July, Nancy, go to the stores and buy whatever you want, and then you can make a video and tell us what you bought? I'm confused. Thank you, Deb, for confusing me.
because, and I'm not saying this in a negative way. I'm thinking it's a really good idea because it's refreshing to have somebody else input an idea into your mind because you weren't thinking in that avenue. And here she just threw that. And it's not a bad idea. It's really not a bad idea. I can control myself at the drugstore. I don't have to go crazy. Um, so I could do it that way. But I am confused because I was so strict with myself. I was disciplined to just focus on the month of July. So in a way, I kind of feel bad, like, oh, screw it. You know, it's almost like I gave up makeup for Lent. <laughs> and then in July, I'll just go crazy, even though Lent will be long gone over before July. But it's it's like that. It's like, OK, I gave up makeup buying for Lent. And now I'm just going to say, screw Lent. Let me just go by anyway. So I'm confused, people. So let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. I'm sh <laughs> I have a feeling every single one of y'all are just saying, yeah, Nancy, just screw July and just go to the store and buy what you want to buy. That is that's that would be a little rough for me because I could go crazy in the drugstores, too. But I have a little bit more discipline. And I would tend to buy in the drugstore with cash more so than with my with my credit cards because I really do want to lower my balance. You don't have a clue as to how high my balances are. One one I'm really focusing on, and that one is going lower, 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 which is good. And the other one needs some help. So, yeah. So let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. Because, you know, sometimes in the drugstore, I'll have something. Like I tell you all the time, I'll have something in my hand because I don't know whether I really want it or not. Like, I'll see it and I'll immediately grab it like, oh, yeah, I want this. And then, uh, you know, devil angel. And the angel will say, you don't really need that, do you? You already have that shade in other. You have that shade like 10 times over, Nancy. And then right before I leave or right before I get online, it's like, yeah, you're right. I don't need it. And then I'll just put it away. Sometimes that happens and I listen to the angel and sometimes I say, shut up angel. And I'll listen to the devil and he'll say, just go ahead and buy it. You only live once. See that line gets me every time you only live once. Why don't you just buy it? So people, I'm going to need your assistance in this matter. I know the most, most of you are already saying, yeah, Nancy, why don't you just go, go to the store on Friday after work? But see, if I go to the store on Friday after work, I won't be going to do a video because you know how long it's been a while. I will want to go to the Walgreens. I will want to go to the Rite Aid. I would want to go to the Dwayne Reed. And by the time I get home, you know, I won't be doing a video. So do you really want me to go to the, vi to the, the, vi to the, to the video store, to the stores on Friday? And I'm not going to do it during the middle of the week because I just want to go home after work. I just... And then Thursday, day after tomorrow, I have to wake up at dawn because of the 7 a.m. appointment that I have at the Doshi. Seven, they, they, not that I wake up at 7, people. No, I have to be there at 7 a.m., which means I already wake up and it's already dark. It's still dark, but I can see a peak of sun. This is going to be, I have to wake up at like 5 to get there at seven. And of course, where Doshi is located in Kew Gardens, I am, it's very hard to get a, there you go here. Yeah. It's very hard to find a parking spot. So I don't know if people will be on their way to work so I could drive into a parking spot or will I have to go around and around and around like I normally do, even on the weekend, till I finally find a spot. But that's, I digress. Back to the whole makeup situation. You guys are going to have to let me know because I'm confused and I really don't know what to do. But I'm happy about one thing, Deb. She did tell me that she's going to make me happy because she made a video of her makeup collection. So everybody look up Mrs. The Doll, M-R-S-T-H-E-D-O-L-L. -L. Mrs. The Doll to look up her makeup collection because she wrote on my Facebook page. Yes, we are Facebook buddies also. I wrote earlier this, this 
this morning, I was in a bit of a, I was in a bit of a mood. After I found out that, you know, my co-worker, who I was rather friendly with, up and got fired, I was a little pissed. And it was just kind of that day. And then I was getting these stupid phone calls from like, you're making a phone call, right? So you would think that you'd be ready to say whatever you need to say. And then I could just transfer you to the person that you need to speak to. I am so sick and tired of having calls. You know, I say the company name and may I help you? Good afternoon, the company name. May I help you? Um, yeah, um, I'm calling in, re um, I'm calling in regards to, um, why aren't you prepared to tell me what you're calling in regards to? Why? Why aren't you prepared? Why? So I have to sit there and wait until you can find, you can legitimately get a sentence together so I can understand what you're trying to say. It is very annoying. And I can't say anything. I can't sigh heavily. You are the receptionist. You're supposed to be Pollyanna. You're supposed to be chipper. You're supposed to be polite. You're supposed to be very helpful. So you just have to wait until this fool on the other end of the phone can get a sentence together to tell you what he wants. Oh, I was, I was too pissed. I was too pissed. What, what, did, what are you doing? He's scratching at my mail. So it was kind of an up and down day. But um, all in all, I really can't complain. It was a, it was it was generally a good day. It really was with some, you know, side swipes of surprises. But it is what it is. So I got to keep it moving. But it is kind of scary now to go to work because I don't know if, you know, well, you know what? I know I haven't been effing up. So in anything. And they're giving me new stuff to do, and I'm doing it rather well. So, you know, but I don't want to sit on my laurels and just like chill. I just need to just keep it going, keep it moving. He's going through his cat crazy right now. So if you hear him, he's in the living room right now. <sighs> Talking to himself or waiting for me to finish. In any event, people, that is it. That is it. This is lips of the day. Um... You could just basically do a heroin with a, a deep purple and you'll get the same results. Trust and believe. Really, you will, because you can't find this unless you do an eBay situation. You might because I know Amazon doesn't have this. I looked Mac lip glass stain in vivid tone violet. Might be an eBay situation. But it is rather old, so, yeah. In any event, I am going to let you go because I want to enjoy the rest of this day. It's beautiful outside. It's sunny. Not that I'm going back out. Oh, oh no, no, no. But the sun just makes, it just lifts my spirits. And I am enjoying the fact that, yes, the sun is lasting a bit longer now. And I don't have to keep the lights on anymore with him. Because, you know, at night or, you know, early in the morning, it's still very dark. So I have to put the lights on. But I have to remember to try to turn them off because by the time I go, it's time for me to go, the sun is already up. And, you know, there's brightness in the living room. I do tend to keep the lights on anyway. It's, it's no big deal. So that's it, basically, in a nutshell. I love you. I love my YouTube family. Hit me up. Let me know. You know what I'm going to do? Because I still have the song in my head. Um, what's love with Ashanti and a uh, big boss, a big Joe. I think that fat Joe, that's what his name is. Fat Joe featuring Ashanti or it's Ashanti featuring fat Joe, whatever. I know the song, the, 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 the name of the song is what's love got to do with it. I think. So I'm going to post that on my Facebook page <laughs> just, just because, just because the tone, the tune is still in my head from this morning. And because I just started to sing it badly, I might add, but you know, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so that is that with that upon that. And uh, I will talk to you uh, tomorrow. And um, you have your homework to do because you have to let me know, you know, A, nay, yeah, A, continue on with the no buy or nay, Nancy, just forget about it and just buy whatever you want to buy. Go to the store, 
whatever. So, thank you, Deb, for confusing me ever so. I'm going to look at your video uh, after I post on my Facebook page and listen to the song. Then I'm going to go back and I'm going to watch your video because I want to see your makeup collection. I do. And that's that with that upon that, people. I love you. I love my YouTube family. Hit me up. Let me know what you think. And I will talk to you tomorrow. I love you now. Bye.